What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Battletech and I'm here bringing you a quick commentary video. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been really, really bugging me and uh, that is the pettiness that I see in the gaming community and it seems to be running rampant, man, on all sides. Nobody is exempt from this. I'm talking console guys, PC gamers, all of them, you know. So without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it because... I don't want this video to wind up being 20 minutes long, but uh, shit, man. Okay, so we're going to start off with PC gaming. Um, you know, that's my primary uh, platform, and, um, you know, I do a lot of videos and shit like that, you know, gameplays and unboxings and what have you, and anybody that follows my channel know I do a lot of Alienware and you know just pre-built you know gaming rig box videos or what have you and shit and everybody you know in the comment section i'm not gonna say everybody but there's always five or six idiots that come in and, and start advocating for the do-it-yourself um rigs and you know full disclaimer i'm fully aware that you can fucking save way more money when you build it yourself Hell, I have one I built myself, and it's not my first one. So, I was just say there's nothing wrong with a pre-built machine. There's nothing wrong with it if somebody don't want to go through the headache of building the machine and all of that shit like that, and they just want to buy one. Let them, let them buy it. Nobody is telling you to go out and do the same thing and get a pre pre-built. If if you like to build your own rigs, I like to build my own too. But you know, sometimes I get you know, some pretty sick pre-built machines that fall on my lap. I'm not going to turn it down. I mean, shit. I mean, you know, if somebody goes out and buys a fucking pre-built machine, are they not a PC gamer? Are they still, are they not taking advantage of Steam and Origin and good old games and all the other shit? I mean, I don't understand why... You know, just because somebody has a pre-built machine, they're somehow less of a PC gamer. I mean, that, that's like the dumbest shit I've ever fucking heard. I mean, god damn. And, you know, and, and while I'm even on the subject of pre-built machines, you know, like I said earlier, I do a lot of Alienware videos. And for some strange reason, everybody just feel like it's just the cool thing to do to shit on Alienware all the fucking time. And they say the same shit. Oh, they're so expensive. They're overpriced pieces. <sighs> Holy shit. In the realm of pre-built machines, Alienware is not even the most expensive or overpriced, as you like to say. Has anybody even heard of Origin PC? I mean, this, I mean, I'm talking about this company has been fucking founded by three dudes that used to work at Alienware back in the 90s. I mean, Falcon Northwest, they, I mean, their fucking prices are ridiculous. But somehow, you know, everybody likes to focus on Alienware. And I think that's mainly because of Dale being in the mix. And that, that's fucking stupid, man. That's ridiculous. Everybody talk about play games, not companies. I mean, what the fuck? Goddamn hypocrites, man. That, that shit is nuts. I mean, and why are we even talking about Alienware? I mean, let's take a look at the Steam machines. Let's look in the Steam store and look at the Steam machines. Alienware Alpha is by far the best value as far as the Steam machines go. You look, I mean, there's no other machine that's cheap. Let's let's take a look at this real quick. All right. Um, okay, so the Alienware Alpha is the second cheapest machine behind the iBow Power SBX, and it's only by $20. But let's look at the differences between the two. The Alpha, you're getting an upgradable Intel i3 and a 2 gig NVIDIA 860M or GTX 750 Ti, depending on how you look at it, for $20 more than the SBX that comes with an AMD Athlon X4840 and a 1 gig R7250X. Womp womp. Man, I pay that two. I play that twenty dollars extra any day for Intel and Nvidia components any day, but somehow it's still overpriced. Still overpriced. 
Y'all love to just whine and complain about any fucking thing. It's fucking ridiculous. And then, don't even get me started on the console, dudes. You, fuck. You guys are just as bad. You know, one hand, you always talk about, oh, it's, you always talk about your kid, about the gameplay over the graphics, but then something like the order comes out, which is ridiculous. That, that shit looks real good. But that's all you seem to talk about is the graphics. Some people talk about the story, but for the most part, they talk about the graphics. Just like the Xbox dudes talk about Rise. Both games look ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with taking pride in graphics and shit. And then don't let don't let a fucking exclusive come out and, and get meh ratings. The other side act like they just won a lottery or got a 10 out of 10 masterpiece released on their platform. It's, it's, it's just ridiculous. And it's funny as hell to me when one side trashes a game like Titanfall because it's not on their system. But then months later or whatever, they get announced for your platform and now all of a sudden you hyped up for the shit. It's the same way motherfuckers hating on LeBron and used to hate on Dennis Rodman back in the day, but they love the shit out of them when they on their team. <laughs> I mean, the Bulls did that shit with Dennis Rodman. They couldn't stand Dennis as soon as he got to the shot. Oh, the worm. The, shut your ass up. Cleveland burned a man jersey and, and tore down his statue like he's Saddam Hussein or some shit. He said, okay, I'm going to come back. Oh, we love you, LeBron. That's just fucking ridiculous, man. That, that, ah, uh, fuck. And I've also been seeing people posting, talking about, you know, people petitioning for fucking stuff to come to their platform. So what? You guys acting like the PC gamers are the only ones that fucking quote unquote beg for shit to come to the fucking PC. Okay, here's what you do. Go to change.org, type in PS4 or type in Xbox One. You'll see plenty of other beggars, I mean gamers, simply asking for some shit to come to their platform if they want. What's wrong with that? I mean, you guys are fucking ridiculous, man. Is it some type of jealousy? I mean, games are games, right? Am I wrong? God damn. Or the other, oh, I don't care about none of the games that's on PC. Why is that? Because they're not ex um, on fucking console yet? Nobody cared about Loadout, Planetside 2, Warframe, Warface, until they came to your platform. Now that's all you talk about. Ooh, blah, 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 this shit's, oh, this shit's fun. Oh, Shut your mouth, jabroni. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I don't own any of the consoles, but anybody that knows me can tell you I'm itching to play Persona 5 and The Last of Us. And I'm pretty sure there's a couple more that have piqued my interest before it's all said and done. The same way Dead Rising, Fight Night Round 3, and NBA 2K made me go out and buy Xbox 360. I mean, I mean, fuck, it's, it's a goddamn game. I'm fucking hating this shit, man. It, it's, it's nuts. Holy fuck, don't hate the game, hate the fucking idiotic players, man. That's, that's just ridiculous. Ugh, man. But anyway, man, I don't want to make this video too damn long. Um, but man, what do you guys think? I want y'all to sound off in the comment section below and let me know um, if you guys are noticing the same, same type of behavior, you know, in whatever Facebook or Google Plus community you're in or Reddit subgroup. Or whatever if you send the same type of pettiness you know let me know in the comment section below if you got any ideas why you think people are acting like fucking ass hats you know leave leave those down there too I'm, I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say uh, so anyway I want you guys go ahead like subscribe and share this video and uh, as always I appreciate you guys checking out my videos so until next time less trolling and more gaming Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.